this is going to be a while. Yo, yo guys, what up? This is LMC back again with another video. Alright, so I know I uh, the last time I uploaded a video was like two weeks ago. Um, and it wasn't even like a proper video. It was like a... Uh, like a stream and it has no intro and nothing but it was it's still content so I'm, I'm cool with it anyways let me cut to this video here now so what this is is a how-to video on how to stream your game from your powerful awesome PC which is at home and you can't take it with you because it's a desktop uh, you're gonna stream that game to your laptop uh, so that you can play the games wherever you are as long as you have a pretty good internet connection uh, to stream the game and play it from the laptop. Mind you, the laptop doesn't have to be a powerhouse, and it doesn't even have to be a laptop. It could be your friend's computer that you do this to uh, whenever you go visit him across the world. Anyways, so I came across this by... because I was too busy and I was never home, and I was like, man, I really wish I bought a gaming laptop. And so I was like, man, this sucks. But then I figured this out, and it was a pretty good compromise. Um, so this is the list here. If you understand this and you can do it on your own, then you really don't need to watch the video. Otherwise, if you want the instructions on how to set this stuff up properly, then you're probably going to want to hang around. <laughs> All right. I know what you're thinking. Team Viewer is a, one of the desktop sharings or screen sharing software that you could use to stream your game. One problem that's a huge problem with it, when you hold down a key, um, it registers it as like really fast taps, which is no good. Um, if you're driving a car, it's just gonna go tap, 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 which is uh, not fun at all. Um, so this uh, solution here streams it really smoothly. Um, and also your input is uh, really responsive. All right, so let's get started. I've already been rambling too much already. Um, all right, so like I said, this is uh, the list here. Um, it's it's six things that you need, um, and we're gonna set up. I hope this video is gonna be really quick. I, I intend it for I intend for it to be really quick. All right, so the first thing is a host PC with all your games. Um, this computer has all my games on it, as you can see here. Um, so this is the my desktop that I game with. The second thing on the list you're going to need is a second computer. Um, now this computer doesn't have to be anything powerful um, at all. It just needs really to receive video and to send it over the internet. Like it's, it doesn't need much um, like anything within the last, I don't know, 10 years? Was 2017? Yeah, 10 years should do. <laughs> um, uh, so what I'm using is I have a laptop that I carry around with me. It's uh, really light. It's called a VivoBook. Um, it's a 14-inch laptop. Uh, its specs are, it has a Pentium um, in it clocked at 1.8, I think. And it has 4 gigabytes of, our, of RAM and a 128 gigabyte SSD. This one that I have here is running uh, Linux, uh, Manjaro Linux, and to save me from doing another screen share on that as well, I decided to just pull it up on a, uh, a team viewer here. Um, some things that you should know real quick, uh, my computer here is on uh, a completely different Wi-Fi network than what the laptop's on. Right now the laptop is on my phone's hotspot, which is called I Will Hack You. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well, because this is gonna, that's sort of like proof that it works. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. So yeah, second computer. Um, next thing is uh, you're gonna need uh, a program called Log Me In Hamachi. Um, now it does it doesn't have to be Log Me In Hamachi. It really just has to be some sort of VPN um, software to set up a VPN on your uh, on your computers. Um, fourth thing, um, which is what's gonna be doing I think most of the work, um, if not second most, not nah, pretty sure it's the most, um, is uh, either NVIDIA, uh, the GeForce Experience, that software, um, because it has a feature in there called NVIDIA Shield Game Streaming that we're going to use. Um, and I haven't tried this yet, but in theory, it should also work on the uh, the Steam in-home streaming um, on the Steam software. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I don't really have games that I want to play on Steam when I'm not home. So we're gonna do the video with the nvidia shield game streaming if you like if you guys like want me to do the 
Steam setup thing, like if you tried it and it failed, um, leave a comment. I mean, I'm not going to waste time on a video if no one wants to watch it. So yeah. All right. Fifth thing is a, another piece of software. What is that? Second. Um, another piece of software on the second PC. It's called Moonlight. Um, and uh, we'll go a little bit into that further when we're ready. And then the last thing you're going to need is a solid internet connection all right um when i say solid i don't mean like gigabit internet um my home pc here is 60 megabits per second um and the uh um, the phone's hotspot is what is it like 40 30 megabits per second on the lte Something like that, like 20, 20 to 40, I think. I'm not sure. I can actually run a speed test here, but I'm not going to. Uh, anyways, so uh, let's get started. So we've already confirmed that we have the host PC and the second PC, obviously. Um, so next, we got to set up the VPN, all right? So to do that, you're just going to open up your internet browser, and <laughs> we're going to do a Google search for uh, log me in. Hamachi, and I'll put links for these in the uh, um, in the description as well, so you guys don't have to do it. So you just go here, download the file. I mean, obviously I've already had it set up, um, but it's not anything that's too complex to uh, to to set up here. Um, so you just run through the the setup. It's gonna ask me if I want to reinstall, of course. Um, but after you install it. You open it up, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hide my IP addresses here. Um, but once you set it up, you'll have to create a new network. Um, and this is where you would need pretty much the only setting up. So I'm going to call this test, and the password is going to be that, and the password is that. Um, and then you hit create. It has been taken. Uh, um, okay, what about unique test? Did that spell unique right? I put an extra I in there. Uh, create. All right, there we go. Um, so we've created something called unique test. I already forgot the password. No, no, I remember it. Let me write it down. Is that the password? I don't even know, dude. Um, either way, let me go ahead and disconnect from this one. Um, but yeah, once you do that, that's pretty much it. That's set up and ready to go. You do the same thing on the second PC with the VPN. Um, it's kind of complicated to do it on this one. But I'm going to see if I can do it with this real quick. Because I know for a fact that it's like I don't have it at all. I'm going to do log me and matchy. Download. All right, like I said, this is a Linux uh, desktop, so it should automatically give me the Linux download. Okay, never mind. Um, actually, what I may have to do is to do it. I could use the TGZ here, but I'm going to do it from here. I'm pretty much going to skip this. Um, so, yeah, give me a second. All right, so I think I did that right. Not sure. I mean, I kind of think I did since it's like showing up here. So I'm just going to assume I did. Um, once again, I am going to block out my IP address. You know, got to stay safe. Either way. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, so once you have Hamachi um, or any other VPN client installed on your uh, on both the computers, right? Um, then we can move on. So let me get this back out the way. And we can move on to the next step, all right? So step four, we got to make sure that the host PC um, has one of these streaming softwares on it, right? So like I said, the one we're going to use is the NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, uh, GeForce Experience NVIDIA Shield Game Stream. Um, but you can also use Steam. You know, I'm not entirely sure if the uh, GeForce experience can be used on non-NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, I mean, I want to think so, but I'm not sure. So I hope so, because that would be kind of lame. So of course, link in the description. Um, you download it, install it, set it up. It takes a while to install. So bear that in mind. Um, after you download and install that, 
Um, you got to open it. So I think I have an update, which is why that exclamation point is there. Uh, but either way, let's go. Um, so yeah, it shows you your games and such. Um, so we want to go into the settings and we want to go to shield and we want to turn that on. Right? So it's going to be off in the beginning. All you got to do is turn it on. But actually, before you turn it on, this is probably where we should set up the uh, the VPNs here. So the way we're going to do this is on your host PC. What is that? On your host PC, you turn on your... After you set up the network, you right click it and go online. And then once it's online, uh, you hop over to the second PC and you join a network instead of creating one. And then you put in the ID, which is unique test. And I think this is the password. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, sweet. So once you've done that, that that's pretty much that. So what you're looking for here is a blue, uh, not a blue, a green light, um, like a green indicator. Right now it's blue. So we got to give it a second. All right, there, it's green now. Um, so if they're blue, it means the signal is being relayed, um, which you may or may not run into. If you're on some sort of business network, then it's probably going to be relayed. Um, there's a good chance of it. And, but other than that, if it's like just straight your wireless connection with your internet service, then you should be fine. Um, same for if you go to a public place like Starbucks, if you want to do this at Starbucks, take your laptop to Starbucks. Um, you got to make sure that their Wi-Fi is for once strong enough um, as well as not relayed. Otherwise, you're going to run into that issue. All right. So after you do that, um, let's skip down real quick to step five. Um, because we need another uh, piece of software to get this uh, completed here. Alright, so this is the last piece of software you're going to need. It's called Moonlight. Alright, now this thing does some uh, some pretty cool stuff. There's a website. Um, so what this program does is it basically imitates uh, NVIDIA Shield. Well, that's what we're going to be using it for in, uh, in this case here. So... Once you have it on your computer, other software that communicates with it is basically going to think, oh, this is something that I can stream to. Um, whether it be uh, uh, NVIDIA Shield or um, or another actual PC if you're using the um, the Steam in-home sharing. All right. And uh, these guys, like props to these guys for compatibility. Like you can install this. Um, in your Chrome browser, uh, you can install this on Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, you can install this on a Raspberry Pi. Like, what in the like? Are you serious? Um, Samsung Gear VR, iOS devices, of course, and Android. Um, so with the uh, iOS devices and Android, um, the game will stream, but you won't be able to control it unless you have like a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard then you'll be playing the game from your phone, which is a really cool idea. But since we want this format for a PC, we're gonna download it here. And I'm actually gonna walk through this here because I do need it. Um, and this particular link takes you to their GitHub. Um, but let's look at something like, oh, can I not choose? Either way, um, this particular link here takes it to the GitHub. This is for the Linux. Um, which one do I want? So it no matter what you do, it takes you to this thing because it has for Windows, Windows 32, um, OS X, Linux 64, uh, and so forth. So I'm gonna do the Linux 64.jar because that's what I'm on Linux 64, and I'm gonna put this in. Where should I put it? I'll put it in music. Why not? Um, and save it. So, so this is a jar file. It means a pretty quick download. You're probably gonna want to Google how to run jar files on your computer. Like if you have a Windows PC, 
Hey, this is what you would do, I guess. Um, so I'm on Linux. Um, I'm pretty sure to run it, I need to open it in the terminal and do Java um, jar or something like that. Yeah, so this is what I would type in my terminal. So yeah, so the download is done now. Um, and once you have that downloaded, um, like I said, you, you can't just click on it. I don't think you can just click on it. Yeah, so it just brings up that for me. Um, so yeah, so now it's time to open the actual uh, the actual program. Um, and keep in mind, this is before you turn on the NVIDIA game stream, right? All right, Java dash jar and paste the name in there. Oh, and also self-explanatory, you're going to need jount, um, Java install on your computer. All right, so this brings up a message here. I think I can just hit OK. All right, cool. So this is the software. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like for me. I assume this is what it will look like for other people as well. Um, but nevertheless, this is how you use it. So you have to do, hold on, what do you do again? I think you come, no, 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 you have to connect first. Yeah, 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 you have to connect first. So you come over here to your uh, Hamachi, and again, mind you, this is on the second PC that we're doing this. Um, you come over here to your uh, your uh, log me and Hamachi, your VPN or whatever. You copy your IP address. You paste it in the software here. Um, and then you hit pair. And that's when you come over and turn this on. Oh, timed out. Let's make this smaller so we can see. You hit pair. Possibly. All right, there we go. So you hit pair. Um, once you put the, uh, what do you call it, IP address in. And on your computer, once you turn on the game stream, you're gonna see it's asking for a, a code. So the code here for me is 5825, right? And then I hit connect. All right, and then it gave me the message paired successfully. So from this point, that's it, right? So I can now choose my desktop and I can hit show app list. And what it'll do is it'll load up all the games on my, um, on my, what do you call it? game stream nvidia geforce experience client type thing um so blade and soul i know won't launch right away because it needs a client so it hops over here and yeah so this is like some major inception right here uh this is crazy I, is it what's it gonna do i don't know um either way let me do control shift to stop it, right? That stops it, I think. All right, there we go. So I was able to close it out. I had to run back over onto the other computer um, to close it out. But yeah, you're, you're pretty much set up. All you need now is a good internet connection. Um, and whenever you want to go, you just copy, like I said, the IP address from your VPN, not from your actual Wi-Fi, from your VPN. I mean, either way, it'll still reroute it to the right uh, um, IP address. But you copy it in there and then put it in here, and it's pretty much going to stay there, and then your computer will show up here. Um, and then you don't have to hit pair anymore. You can just hit show app list um, and then launch. What do you want to launch? Um, for me, it shows the frames per second so what is this get out of here um for me it's showing the frames per second so i was streaming it at 38 um, frames per second um with i think a 26 millisecond ping i think is what that means um the software also has some options that you can change like you can change your bit rate i normally keep this at like five right so there is some sort of equation that you can use to figure out what's your what bit rate you should use when streaming. Um, if you're on really bad Wi-Fi, like go to one. Um, it'll be kind of blurry, but your gameplay will be smooth. Um, if you're like on I guess gigabit internet, go to 100 for 
full 1080p 4k gloriousness but like it's not really practical it doesn't really matter um five it looks fine um i can see everybody um you can mess around with some other options here um i tend to stay at 720 but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it um you, you're 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 set so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful um i guess i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one i'm out